My name is Ashley Higginson. I'm a 3,000 meter steeplechase specialist and I run for Saucony. The steeplechase is a 3,000 meter event, so just shy of two miles, where every lap you go over five barriers. It's not for the faint of heart and, you know, it takes a lot of energy mentally to prepare for each of these barriers and things like that. I want to try that. Yeah, section number one, fastest section of this women's steeplechase. First or second year out of Princeton, running well. And here goes Higginson for the pass, and she's on her way to a victory. Okay, skip. I grew up here. I have lived in New Jersey my whole life. I went into high school excited about running. I played soccer, inevitably quit soccer for cross country, had an amazing team to train with. And it was just kind of my definition. I was a runner. And my senior year of high school just went awesome. I won nationals in the two mile. The same thing happened in college. I got to place third at NCAAs in the steeplechase and was a three-time All-American. I definitely work really hard. Now that I'm running professionally, I realize a lot of people work really hard. But I think I'm still really lucky at the end of the day to be able to line up on the big days and be healthy and just have the opportunity. And from there, you kind of just have to hope for the best. <laughs> the Olympic trials came very quickly, I guess. I realized I needed to run faster than I'd ever run before. But I also realized that if I did that, that I had a shot. In the final, I um, came in fourth, <laughs> which is never a great place to come in the Olympic trials. I made a move to catch up and never made that defining championship moment, so I'd like to say that doesn't mean I don't deserve it, but it's a shame I couldn't do this for them today. I remember the next day thinking, wow, like if I had just come in the top three, like I'd be so happy and probably done with this. And if I had come in like seventh, I would be probably pretty upset, but I would be done with this. But now I'm fourth and just unsatisfied. <laughs> so I wanted to sort of start both, both paths of my life. I wanted sort of the regimen of school again um, and just finding some direction in who I was becoming outside of just an athlete. I wanted to be surrounded by people who had no idea what the steeplechase was every day and really didn't care. So I started law school because it just seemed like a promise I made to myself a couple years prior. I would certainly not be training seriously anymore. And suddenly I was confronted with my coaches telling me I should stay, my heart being confused. And I just kind of flipped a switch and I wanted to stay here. I made this sweeping change and moving back to New Jersey after driving halfway out to Colorado. Running isn't like this thing that you do for a little while and then it ends, it becomes your life. Here we are again. 800 repeats here again for me. <laughs> Going into law school, I think it really helped because I was just really present with my work when I was doing it, and then I just shut the book and I wasn't doing it anymore. This is your time to just be a runner. I think the trials make me feel excited. The end result is a really big deal, but it's not really any different. You have to lace up your laces on your spikes and run 3,000 meters and hopefully not fall in the water, like every other time. <laughs> Running has created that balance. It's made me a whole person, and I just never want to lose that. <laughs>